He's waking up all of a sudden. It's a funny angle, baby. Ooh. He's acting all malnourished and stuff. Woody, why are you eating grass? <laughs> His response, eat more grass. River Rats, me and the, the old wood man are out here on a nice little sandbar and quick little evening trip. Don't know how long we're gonna stay because I don't know what the weather's gonna be like, but we're gonna try to catch some big, fingers crossed, because uh, the really big ones have been running away from me this year. I'd like to get one. Wouldn't we all? Duh. <laughs> oh, good. He's found a tick on me. That's nice. I don't think ticks can swim. Good luck. Woody, what's your deal with the grass, man? <laughs> Aren't you worried about what people might think of you? Got a big old pile of junk. What I need to do is get a big old pile of fresh tied leaders. If we're gonna be truthful. Uh, come here, Riggs. Yeah, the truth of the matter is, um, I've just had bad luck with the big fish. Like, I've hooked some, and I've caught some what I consider nice fish, but uh, the big ones, like the ones over 40, they've uh, kicked my butt. Unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. This leader's good, I do know that, but I'm gonna retie two out of the three. These whisker seeker sinker slides, which are a mouthful to say, they're pretty dang handy because you can take them on and off without retying, which sometimes you need to retie and sometimes you don't. I would say right now is one of those times you don't. I do need to get a bait in the water though because uh, this is what I call the witching hour, happy hour, but uh, this is when the big kids come out and play. They're the start of it. Hook sharp. Need a bullhead. Or big green sunfish, one of the two. All right, whatever I grab first. Oh, come here. Yes. I like to hook my bullheads in anything at an angle. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, that is not straight across. That is at a slight angle. And typically, I believe that helps prevent the bait from uh, the hook from going back in the bait. This one's not going very far. How's the drag? Locked down. I can probably back it off a little here, even though I like giving them the heat. Yeah, a little drag doesn't hurt. Except when you're in a giant brush pile, then I'd say it does. Okay, not real deep, but deep enough. Woody agrees, don't you, Woody? Hopefully something comes out to play here. This one. Woody, does this need retied? Oh, you think so? I agree. Should probably close the lid on that bait tank though, because um, them sunfish like to jump out. Allegedly. Not that I've ever had that happen. Why am I bleeding? <laughs> Interesting. Fresh leader. Gonna go with a longer one on this one. Like a two-footer, probably. Eh, probably be about 18 inches before it's all said and done. Good old fresh 60. Should be able to handle anything over here. It's pretty wide open, which is a rare commodity that I don't run into all that much where you have something pretty much wide open. I still don't like to let them run too much because when I say wide open, I mean you could put quotation marks. You go very far at all and all of a sudden it's... There's one log that just ruins your day. And if you're like, why are you taking the snaps and moving around? I like my weights to slide at night because I tail hook baits. And if you have a fixed sinker, they tend to tear off because bullheads and sunfish, pretty much every bait I use is where you hook it. It's relatively delicate because you want that bait to, the hook to be able to come out. <laughs> oh, good. We have some uh, gunk in there. Luckily, I have a tool to clean it out. <laughs> Having opposable thumbs is pretty awesome. I'm sorry you don't get that pleasure, Woody. And it seems like it takes forever when you want to get baits out, but in reality, it doesn't take that long to swap out the slides. Need something bigger than two ounces. 
Five it is. Not an exact science. Hmm, might go the old green sunfish route on this one. Yeah, that's a quality green sunfish. Not a giant, but big enough to get somebody's attention. Oh, that's a big old fly there. Whatever that kind of fly that was. Not familiar with him. How's he acting? Not bad. What do you think, the wood? There's that drop bob. Isn't there a drop off around here? I'm not digging it. Ooh, I just heard it. I think we're on the drop off wood. Yeah, we definitely were. Retry. Yeah, that'll work. And I have to remember, Woody, remind me, if this gets bit, we have to walk around over there. Maybe I should just put the rod over there. I don't like jumping over little creeks and stuff, but at least I'll have a better chance at landing them if something eats it. Yeah, good idea, Woody. If I have to guess which one's gonna get hit, I'm gonna guess this one. Fingers crossed. Come on, the wood. Can you, oh, big time hops at a boy. You're an athlete. Wood hates car rides, he hates change. He likes sand though. Sand is nice. All right. What say you, little wood? The big fish gonna be moving tonight? I don't know. It's full moon. I'm not like a big fan of the full moon, but I'm a big fan of these weather conditions, so. You know, like, which one's the bigger deal? Guess tonight's the real test. Hmm. Dog barking. Relatively close. Interesting. Are we gonna make some friends, Woody? Normally I'd use lighter leader for the sinker dropper, but I forgot it. <coughs> so it's hard to use it when you don't have it here. But that's what happens when you get in a hurry. Just had a wild hair. I wasn't even gonna fish tonight. I'm just like, you know what? Let me get out there for a little while. So here we are. Now I just need a 50 pounder, Wood. You gonna be my good luck charm? You'd be a lot cooler if you were. Camp setup is key. Having a nice fluffy, fluffy chair such as this. Big important. Woody's gonna take it, guaranteed. I like consolidating everything. Jacket. Camera stiff. And then it was raining. Yep. I don't know how big. Not big. Well. There. He's waking up all of a sudden. It's a funny angle, maybe. Ooh, I backed off the drag and he's showing off. Yeah, he's heavy. He did not feel big at first. Watch out, Wood. Well, he ain't bad. Take one like him every time. We'll head under the bobber. All right, come here. Swing him to the bank, hopefully. Yeah, he ain't bad at all, actually. Got my juices flowing. Yep. What a jerk. I, uh, I'm honestly surprised he had the gumption once I got him out to the bank because I actually played him out a little bit. Um, backed the drag off because it was an open area and figured I'd wear him out. So uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> but uh, he's like, nah, man, I'm going to be a jerk at the bank, which that's okay. All right. Skinny dude. I'm going to 
let you go. Go eat. Where'd Woody go? What do you what do you think of him? Are you gonna splash me? I know you want to. Well, you just kinda slithered away. That's cool. Woody, what do you think? You just glad it's done raining? Me too. Where are you going? He was not very far off the bank, so I guess we'll throw one also not very far off the bank. Woody, that was not the one that I thought was going to get eaten first. But I'll take it either way. So in my chair, just found another tick. What's the deal? He was fast too. He's a mean looking one. Well, we'll see if he can swim too. Hey, Rats, me and Ryan are out here on a quick little weeknight trip. And fun part about nights like that is lots of times that's when cool stuff happens. And you can't catch them on the couch, which that's been over said a million times. So what we got is a rip rap bend. And a lot of dudes like timber for flatheads, including me. They're never a bad place. And honestly, big fish come out of them sometimes. And that's, that's usually what I'm fishing for is big fish. I don't know about you. I do find it entertaining when someone says they're like fishing for their PB. Aren't you always fishing for your PB? Or are there times where you're like, nah, I would not want to catch the biggest fish I've ever caught before. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of weird, I guess. Cause I'm pretty sure that's uh, where I heard them. Right oh. Oh, hold oh, on. That was almost bad. Conveniently, there's a piece of rebar right here to clip off to just about the right distance from where I want my baits to be sitting. You gonna tie off to me or what? Probably. It's about the only angle I can get. If you want to catch one, that's what I'd do. Yeah, that's where that rock bar is. Yeah. We could put, I'm only gonna fish two. Yeah, that's what I'd figure. I ain't gonna put one a piece that's covered the same as four. Well, but then you can bomb one deep. You go you can go right on it and then past it. That's what I was thinking. And then you can just angle yours out so we get more of a spread. Probably gonna fish a little cut bait even. Yeah, rope. I guess I have my stake out pool. We're reasonably reasonably can like secure yeah i'm gonna do something weird i uh i'm gonna throw a live bait and then i'm gonna throw uh some cut bait out on a circle hook well, who am i <laughs> <laughs> a slow learner slow evidently. learner can't argue with that logic i'm using a real short leader because we're in some rocks and stuff so uh the longer the leader the more likely you are to get snagged and when you're fishing in timber, you can like put it on the edge of the timber and you know, you're probably not going to get snagged even with a long leader if you're far enough away. Rocks, I don't know where the rocks are. <laughs> and I'm going to throw it down in that area. And I'm going to talk like I know what I'm talking about and Ryan's going to catch all the fish. I love when that plan works. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good plan. Yeah. Cut bait rig and doing double hook rig. I don't know why it makes a difference. Because you like using losing two hooks at once. <laughs> <laughs> and it. and a weight. <laughs> Just can't get enough of that. <laughs> Just letting them letting know dinner's coming. That's prime. I'm gonna try to get this one down there where you're talking. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> right about there. Yeah. Just gonna leave them in gear. Yep. Don't want them running here. Maybe a little. Oh, you're right on the edge. Right in there somewhere. Yeah. Your bait is excited. I thought that was a hit at first. I did too. <laughs> All right, we are fishing. We are fishing. Now we just need a freak show to show up. Hopefully before 10 so I can get some sleep. No doubt. <laughs> you hear that fish? <laughs> You're on the time crunch. You, uh, you got an hour and four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe a lot. All right. Baits are excited. My sh my shad cut baits aren't very excited. 
<laughs> Probably because they're dead, but uh, Probably. everybody else is pretty happy. Love that boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a quality bait. As he stops. Oh, and then he stops. At least probably wore out. Your bluegill's even a quality bait. I'm thinking about reeling mine in and cutting my sheds and tossing it back out. Make a little scent trail. Yep. Oh, that's money. Right in the marker. It is. And it was clean bottom. You can get eaten if you want, dude. Yeah. It's allowed. It's encouraged, even. <laughs> oh, my shad just got nibbed. Trusty turtle. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll clean them out for you. <laughs> oh, I got to tell you my snapping turtle story. All right. So when I went and caught creek chubs the other day, there was, it was a spillway. I walked down to the edge of the concrete where it widened out and toss my worm in and I look down at my feet because my feet are right by the edge of the water and there's a snapping turtle, big dog, like 30, 40, 50 pounder. Wow. Yeah, right on the edge of the water. Within snapping distance? Oh uh, yeah, he was within half a foot of my toes. <laughs> I was wearing sandals. <laughs> the weird thing was when I'd move away, he'd move closer. When I'd move closer, he'd slide back a little bit. Once I moved away to try a different spot, he went down, swam around, and came back and looked right at me for the last 10, 15 minutes I was catching bait. Really? Yeah. I named him Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a Bob. Yeah, I, I, I thought he did too. Alright, I'll turn the camera back on when we get some live action, which we kind of are. Three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. See you guys in three minutes. There we go. We're back on. He ain't giant, giant. But I don't know. <laughs> Big head shakes. My far line for sure. I'm sure. I was asleep when this fish hit. <laughs> Trying to keep him out of some rocks. Come here. Wow, he was a long ways away. Stay out of the rocks. Stay out of. He's in some lines. Now he's under Ryan's kayak. I don't know where he else he is. There he is. He ain't bad. Gone. Ooh, he's got that pole bowed up. Trying to control. Oh yeah, big noggin. Sorry for the delay on turning the camera on, but uh, I was actually asleep. Hooked. Got a little bit of life left. Here, I got him coming towards you. Got him? Got him. Hey! Oh my god. We need to take a rain check on this for a moment. Oh yeah, he's dirty. Hey! That's what a nice fish looks like. It is. Oh, buddy. He fought like a champ too, man. Like I was snoozing, and then I, <laughs> then I hear a. And <laughs> 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 this is where we're at right now. So I don't know. That's sweet. Just gonna admire him for a minute. He hit on downstream, didn't he? That was your long run. Yep. And he's got leeches crawling on his head. You probably can't see him. I can barely see him. I don't know if you saw it, but this dude's missing slime. Or missing slime. <laughs> He's got plenty of slime. He's missing an eyeball right there. War wound. Where am I gonna let him go? You want Not him on go? your side. Yeah. There you go. And the water is warm, so he needs passion eyeballs. Yeah. Well, night made. Yeah. One fish to make your night. That's the beautiful part about flyhead fishing right there. It's a good one. Bugs aren't so beautiful. No. Plentiful. Plentiful. More plentiful than the flathead. 